You're listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour. If you miss any of the program, you can find the podcast at the bottom of the page at sunnyradio.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. I'm excited to have Brent Baker join us right now, and he is with Clients First Group and with Keller Williams. He's a real estate professional, and you are here prepared to talk about fire hazards, which we talked about like a month ago, but we're going to talk a little more about it. This time of year, I suppose, there are probably some seasonal fire hazards that we don't usually think about when people start dragging in, especially live Christmas trees. You know, because they don't stay alive forever. <laughs> they start dying the second they cut them down. Yeah, this season seems to bring on, you, you're going to notice in the news, more house fires. Yeah. Part of that is for auxiliary heat. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, especially in older homes. Uh, don't ever plug a space heater into a power strip. Oof, no. Plug it directly into the wall or don't plug it in at all. That's right. Um, and just also extension cords that are laying across potential fire hazards, yeah. you know, carpets and so forth. You have to be careful that uh, there's nothing flammable right there or your outdoor Christmas lights yeah. laying in the snow. Mm-hmm. Um, if those junctions or outlets are in moisture, it can cause an issue. We can have a problem. So let's talk about the 14 fire hazards that we might not be thinking of. All right. Well, one of those is uh, products that have been recalled. Oh, yeah. Um, and we may have talked about this before. But as products age, problems can show up. And over time, what didn't get caught in the labs uh, is showing up in real life. And that could be your microwave, could be uh, a generator of some sort that you have, um, clothes washers and dryers with time. And just think about what those things do. They have a lot of current going through them, a lot of heat in them, old lamps, um, computer batteries. Uh, Pretty much I've, anything you plug in at some point could become a fire hazard. Right. If if it uses electricity, whether um, from your outlets or from a battery, yeah. potential is there. So be careful. And I've seen computers that have burned. And, oh, yeah. uh, and fortunately, not mine, but yeah. uh, a friend of mine's. The other part is the outlet that you plug it in. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've seen at times where the outlets are loose, the wire connections are not. Yeah, uh, causing a spark that causes yep. an arc that causes a fire that causes the house that Jack built burned down <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> well, recently I was talking to one of my clients and uh, they were updating some things in the house they had just bought. And um, he got a little tingle on a loose wire. Mm. So i um, glad they were going through and updating outlets and so forth. And... Uh, yeah, his father-in-law told me about it. He says he was uh, getting a little, getting a little jolt there. And a spot on the house that we purchased a little over a year ago, uh, we removed some windows and put in a door in our sunroom. And I'm glad that we did that because when we opened up that wall, I found where they had shot a nail when they were putting in trim. Ooh. And they, for whatever reason, used really long trim nails. Like these were load-bearing trim nails, <laughs> and they they shot it through. An electrical wire. So the electrical wire had like a big burn mark around it. You know, you could see like on the sheathing, it was all sure. burned up. And uh, I don't know if that electrical circuit was still working or not. We had already disconnected it by the time I discovered this. So I don't know if that, it might have not even been working in the wall. But I thought, well, I'm glad we found that and I'm glad we removed that. <laughs> so <laughs> Could have had an unfortunate yes, event later. I would have been on this list. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We'd have been talking about John. Absolutely. Now, we've got many more on this list. We're going to come back to this in just a moment. going to take a quick break. Our guest today, Brent Baker with Keller Williams and Clients First Group. You can find them online at clientsfirstgroup.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. 
just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John Ed Heidi Show bonus hour. We've got Brent Baker from Keller Williams, client's first group with us. We uh, were talking a moment ago about a list of of fire hazards and things around the house, and we're going to continue that list right now. Brent, what's the next thing on the list? This typically shows up with um, home projects is just an accumulation of sawdust. Mm -hmm. You know, typically not in the home, but in the garage or in your workshop area. Um, Powders, dust are combustible, and, you know, sawdust, yeah. Being made of wood yeah. is obviously combustible. Very flammable. Uh, but along that same line, some of the things that you find in your pantry. Mm. So flour, sugar, here again. Yeah. They can be a dust. They can be a cloud. And so, um, and flour is a carbohydrate. So um, it's even more explosive. And we haven't heard it in the news lately, but here in farm country, occasionally a grain elevator explosion. Oh, yeah. And it's the dust. Okay. You know, if you tried to light a pile of corn on fire, it's not going to happen real easy, but the dust in the air is very explosive. Hmm. And, you know, your non-dairy creamers and so forth there, again, it's a powder, it's a dust. Never even thought of that. Yep. Another thing is nail polish remover. Yeah, I knew that was flammable. Yep, it's acetone, and so um, it's very flammable. And um, so you got to be careful where you're using that um, you know, if you got your curling iron laying there nearby or whatever, or sparks, something. So be careful. I always try to keep my curling iron away from my uh, nail polish remover. So. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much better knowing that, John. I guess I don't use either of those. <laughs> but Heidi does, so, yeah. you know. Um, bathroom chemicals. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I learned this the hard way many years ago. I was trying to clean up something that was really difficult, and I thought, well, this is kind of working, and that's kind of working. What if I put them together? Mm. Well, the fumes from that were just gosh awful. <laughs> but those fumes could yeah. have had a spark been nearby, say a water heater, yeah. uh, pilot light type of thing. That could have been horrible. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, bleaches, acid-based cont- uh, cleaners, uh, those can create toxic clouds and then just harmful to your physical health, breathing yeah. the fumes. Yeah, be careful out there. Yep. And another that people may not think about is those little 9-volt, we used to call them transistor batteries, yeah. but they're found in smoke alarms. Yeah, yeah. You've got two contacts sticking out at the end. Yeah. So Well, we th- talked a month ago, whatever, um, I had mentioned, I, th- I thought it was really weird that the, the, the smoke alarm battery, that's like the battery, you, every smoke alarm, I think almost every smoke alarm, are also the most dangerous ones for a fire because if you throw those in a garbage can, those two terminals can touch a piece of metal and catch that garbage can on fire very easily. Correct. So, so you, you want to tape over those before you throw them away. Correct. You know, because you throw those in to, say, a metal garbage can or if you've got a can. Soup can, anything in there. Yeah. If those, you know, or your bubble gum wrapper, yeah. if it's, you know, aluminum foil type. So just because you think the battery's dead, maybe it won't power the smoke alarm, doesn't mean it doesn't yeah. have enough current to start a fire yeah. in your garbage. It doesn't garbage. take much for a spark. Nope. Um, and in this age where uh, retro is really cool... We love those old fixtures, so you've got uh, your uh, retro fixtures. Say, uh, we've just recently sold some very old, you know, 100-year-old four-story or two-story four-square homes. Yeah. Lots of cool woodwork, and people want light fixtures that go with the that era. era of the home. But that's old wiring in those, so... Rewire them. They need to be updated. Yeah. And, and there are companies that sell reproductions, but if you have one of the old original light fixtures which in some cases are just super cool and you can't find a replacement yeah. you still need to have it rewired yeah they're beautiful but they can also be very dangerous if they don't have yeah new. and that incredibly cool old house that you just bought is yeah. now ash and we don't yeah. want that not at all another is just um things that get near your fireplace so if you have a fireplace that does not have say a glass front or something yeah. and so those pictures you have of you and your special someone on the bear rug, <laughs> let's not create a disaster. So, um, are they just bear, make sure. bear photos on the bear rug? Is that what you said? <laughs> Thank you for picking up on that. <laughs> 
But we just don't want anything flammable yeah. um, where there's an open flame where the you know a spark could leap out, um, yeah. that type of thing, or something just simply get pushed into the fireplace. Exactly. Uh, bird nests on outdoor lights is another potential, yeah. uh, and I just came across this at my own house. I was um, having some issues, and I thought, oh, these fixtures are 10 years old. I should replace those, and uh, some of those outdoor light fixtures have bird nests up on top. Oh, well, wow. So fortunately, um, we'd not had an issue, but I hadn't stayed you on top of them. them. <laughs> they are, yes, they're evicted. <laughs> But we don't think about that. We look no. up there and go, oh, I don't want to disturb those little birdies. But yeah. don't let them build a nest in the first place. No, not at all. And then you don't have to evict them. Coming up in a moment, we're going to wrap this list up. Got to take a quick break. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. We have Brent Baker from Keller Williams Clients First Group joining us right now. He's been going through a list, and if you miss any of this list, I'll have the entire thing for today as a podcast as well. You can find that at the bottom of the page at sunnyradio.com. Brent, let's finish the list and uh, get through the rest of the fire hazards that we can find around the house. This kind of surprised me, the glass or crystal decor. Um doesn't seem possible or likely that it would. Um, on a bright, but, sunny day. But on a bright, sunny day, it could be a problem. It yeah. could, you know, just like the magnifying glass, uh, intensify the heat, Enough the, that it the could, light going through it. So be careful where you put those and maybe don't put them right by a window. So Correct. The clothes dryer. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think we may have talked about this one before, and it happened to a friend of mine. We were on the phone one day, and she said, I smell smoke. Yeah, and so she went as she got closer to her laundry room and she opened up the door to the laundry room it was very intense and fortunately she hadn't left the house yeah. it was her habit to throw things in the dryer and then go out and leave Yeah. well I don't think she does that anymore because yeah. the lint can accumulate and you don't realize it and then you've got a fire and there are companies that can clean your dryer vents and it's not a super expensive thing to have done and it could literally save you from a house fire yeah, it's one of those things I should probably do this weekend is pull the dryer away from the wall yeah. and clean those tubes. Yeah. yeah, There's equipment you can buy just about any place for that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just some of the things that we have around the house that are in the garage. You know, linseed oil was very common uh, once upon a time, and you still can find it. And um, if it's on rags that you used it to clean some things, uh, or if you were thinning some oil-based paint, those fumes can accumulate in a garbage can yeah. or in some sort of a confined area, and then all they need is something to create the spark, or uh, they themselves, just the accumulation of that fumes and those rags, they can get hot and self-combust. Yeah. And then there's the smoke detector itself, of all things. Yeah, the thing um, that's supposed to protect us. Yeah, so they need to be maintained, and once they get to 10 years of age, they need to be replaced. I think so. I need to replace mine. It goes off every time I cook bacon. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> well, certainly not the fault of the bacon. <laughs> no, clearly there's a problem with the smoke detector. But those are just some things that, um, over time, need to be looked at. We don't think about them. We walk past them every day. Yeah. Um, but, you know, during the holiday times, if you got some downtime, start wandering around your house mm -hmm. and just take this list yeah. and uh, make sure you're not setting yourself up for a fire. Very nice. Brent, if somebody listening would like to connect with you, maybe they've got a real estate question. Again, Brent is uh, with Clients First Group, and he's a, a realtor here in the Sioux Falls area. But you're licensed in South Dakota and Minnesota, right? Correct. So if somebody listening, they could even be, you know, from Minnesota. If if they're if they have a question, you can help them on either side of the border. How do they get a hold of you though? 605 310 0297. 
Very nice. You can also find him online at clientsfirstgroup.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Hey, this episode of the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour is done. Now, there are times during the bonus hour I'll mention something from our regular program, the John and Heidi Show, which is syndicated on like 300 stations around the country. There's actually a podcast for that as well. So if I mention something that you're going, hey, whatever happened? He didn't talk to that person or this didn't happen. That didn't happen. You can find that podcast at johnandheidyshow.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour.